Lightning grenades have been added to the game, janitors will spawn with two by default in their belt, and you can order more cargo. And there's nothing really special about the grenade itself, you just detonate it by pressing Z, and it makes a clunk sound, it doesn't have any actual like, ticking sound, but the chemicals are harmless to people, it spreads out in a pretty massive area. Uh, it can make you slip, so there could potentially be some useful um, combat effect to that. Janitors obviously don't slip because they have no slips. And anything it touches will turn into water because it is space cleaner. So it is a very effective cleaning tool. Use them when the messes are bad. Getting electrocuted has been changed again. From left to right is a low voltage grill, medium voltage grill, high voltage grill. I touch a low voltage grill. I only take about 10 damage or so. Touch a medium voltage grill. And by the way, this uh, the power source going on is an AME. I also have like 5,000 debug generators. So the amount of power being produced on the station is really high. It's to amplify the effects more. Touching a medium voltage wire only does 22 damage. And this is a high voltage grill with billions of watts of energy in it. Doesn't even put me below okay health. Uh, before, this would just straight up insta-kill you if you had an AME running. Voice masks have been changed to be able to replicate literally like any species in the entire game you can even sound like a vox if you want obviously if you do this this is going to out yourself immediately because it will be like something like shrieks which none of the species do that but this gives you ability to be more covert or do some meme -y stuff if you wish arcade machines now have ambient noises the space villain arcade will literally like insult you if you quit it Quit or lose, and the NT block game, totally not Tetris, is a little bit nicer to you when you're done playing. Or just makes sounds. <laughs> then to get duffel bags, I've received a slight size increase, so you can carry more things now. Just a reagent grinder has been added to the game. It's a low tier research in basic hydroponics. Really, it's just designed to be able to toss in a bunch of fruits or something to be able to extract the reagents from. So, if you make like Omnizine apples or something, you can just quickly toss them all in, get a beaker, and pull the reagents out. You can also pet it. All the parasites once again transfer the damage to their owners. So if I shoot my own guardian, I will hurt myself. Uh, this also includes things like melee weapons, explosives. If your guardian gets hit, you now will take some of the damage, not all of it. So, realistically, it was just a bug fix, but this makes hollow parasites nowhere near as intimidating as they were. Explosive's chain reaction has been changed. Before, if I were to detonate this 8C4 in a pile, it would just make a normal 3x3 explosion as if only 1C4 went off, but it would do a ton of damage. Now, it doesn't necessarily do additional damage, but it will make a much more massive explosion, which can be rather useful if you're trying to blow up a large area. Like, they did take a lot of damage, but that's, like, basically typical C4 damage. They didn't even get close to giving or anything, and that was with 8 C4 at their legs. But it did make a much more larger explosion and basically blew up this area. Where, again, before, 8 C4 in one spot would have just been a 3x3 that would have almost gibbed someone, but not quite. You can no longer acquire rubber bullets, which also means that security officers now spawn with an additional lethal mag rather than one rubber, one lethal. Each security officer locker will also now contain a disabler to, I mean, compensate for the loss of this rubber round. Uh, there is a, no way to actually acquire rubbers anymore, but beanbags are still in the game, also tranquilizers are still in the game. Ion storms are now even more likely to affect cyborgs. If an iron storm happens, you have about an 8, you have an 80% chance of being affected by it now. 20% chance for a law to be removed, 20% chance for a law to be replaced, and a 20% chance for laws to be shuffled. If I run an Ion Storm, we can see I lost Law 2. Security officers are now the lowest ranking crew members. I got a new law, and I lost a law through an Ion Storm, so things could definitely get a lot more interesting with board laws due to this. Ninjas, when they steal from the research server, will no longer delete every single research that science has gotten. They'll only delete 4 to 8. So, at worst, you only set science back about 20 to 40,000 points overall, rather than completely destroying them. And that is the last thing I'm going to cover for this week. I want to thank all of our maintainers and contributors for all their hard work to the game and keeping it up to date. Thank you for watching.